My name is Rebecca Linder Blatchley. I'm the Director of the Office of Government Relations for the Episcopal Church. We represent the public policy positions of the church to policymakers and legislators in Washington, D.C., highlighting the voices and experiences of Episcopalians and Anglicans globally. I'm here today on, in my role as a board member of the Churches for Middle East Peace, a role I'm very proud to have. We as a church have been a member of Churches for Middle East Peace since the founding, and we work in coalition with 28 denominations and other organizations to advocate for a just and lasting and sustainable peace in the Holy Land. I want to talk today about advocacy and why it's important and why you should be involved. As a Christian and as a person who's affiliated uh, with a church, you have a particular way that you can be a powerful advocate. You can advocate for your values, which is something that's critically important in Washington at this time. But what we can do as Christians is speak up for the most vulnerable, for those who are really in need of having their perspectives and their voices heard. So as we do advocacy, we can always come from a place of values, knowing that that moral message, and that moral voice is so important. As Christians, we also can share the stories and perspectives that we have experienced and learned in our travels and through education like this curriculum, especially around issues of peace in the Middle East and Israel-Palestine in particular. You can share a story or experience that you have had on a trip or a pilgrimage to the Holy Land. You can relate the experiences of Palestinian or Israeli children you met during your time there. Or it may be that you had someone come and speak at your church who helped to educate you about the situation and the history. All of those stories are incredibly valuable for members of Congress to hear and to understand, again, the perspectives that don't always get as much of a hearing as they might in Washington, D.C. We often get asked whether advocacy matters and whether any individual can make a difference for the big level policy decisions that are being made in Washington. The answer is a resounding yes. Advocacy is tremendously important, especially when we're working in organizations like Churches for Middle East Peace, a powerful coalition of a diverse group of churches who come together to develop policy positions that are in line with one another and that allow us to take action as a collective group where members of Congress who are meeting with us can hear that from so many different perspectives, churches and people of faith have come together to say that we need to change the situation. Before taking on this role, I was at the State Department working there for many years where I met with religious groups. And I can say firsthand from having been in government, the benefit of working with organizations like Churches for Middle East Peace is that they have tremendous expertise that we as a denomination rely on and that all of you can have the opportunity to rely on as well through their action alerts, urging us to take action at particular times when that action or call to a member of Congress will be most strategically timed to have an impact. We rely on the expertise of staff members of Churches for Middle East Peace. We're grateful that Churches for Middle East Peace leads pilgrimages to the Holy Land, helping people to understand what they're seeing we also know that the leadership of Churches for Middle East Peace can visit churches and help educate, can arrange speakers, and again, can offer just a whole range of opportunities and resources that churches can benefit from, something that can be so valuable for congregations seeking to learn more, seeking to strive for justice, and finding the right ways to take action. And Churches for Middle East Peace also has an annual summit where they bring together speakers and experts leading a day of advocacy to go visit member offices on the Hill, um, equipping you to have member visits when your member of Congress is in district and home during a recess. So the opportunities for you uh, to be involved as an advocate are many, they're important, and I would urge you to take action, um, to continue to learn more, and to stay connected to this network.